Listen, I love the fact that BMW took control over Mini years back. Set aside the fact that BMW has taken control over Mini and a lot of the characteristics of Mini resemble BMW. I'm even a big fan of Mini before it became part of BMW. Like if I could get my hands on an Austin, I would actually pick one up. Like if I can get one for like 10 or 12, that's in decent shape, I'd actually take it because there is no car that resembles the history and performance of a Mini. Now, if you logged on to this video and you find yourself shopping the Fiat 500L or X, either of these two, if you're comparing this car to the Mini Cooper, I need you to do me a huge favor. So there is actually X uh, at the very top right of your screen. Just click it. Are they gone? I don't know what gets into people sometimes. Like you can't compare the Fiat 500. You just can't. <laughs> What's happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting. Here today to talk about one of my all time favorites, the Mini Cooper. And today we're gonna be talking about the Countryman all four S and how to go about getting the best deal on this car. I always completely forget the shape of the Clubman and the shape of the Countryman. The Countryman I've put in my head as like a bigger, slightly bulkier person. And the Clubman, you know, a little bit more thin, a little bit more chic. And that's how I attribute the names to the design of both these uh, minis. Actually, really, really funny because this month, I've been seeing a ton of mini advertisements on the right hand side of most of the websites that I've been logging on to and I don't know what happened. If maybe I said Mini Cooper a few times around my phone, it's getting kind of weird. However, it did bring me to the conclusion that the deals on these Mini Cooper Clubmans are actually kind of hot. So behind me you can see that the dealer ads on these cars are really aggressive. Now, if you're going for the Countryman all four, the deals on the S and the regular model are pretty comparable. And the reason behind it is because of the residual. Now, a Mini is offering a 66% residual and they're not overcharging on the money factor. It's sort of standard rate money factors being offered. Now, what Mini dealerships are doing in their advertisements, such as the one behind me, there is a very large rebate of $1,500 being offered to loyal Mini customers. So basically, if you're currently leasing or you own a Mini now, you actually get a fat rebate of $1,500. Hopefully you have a Mini now or somebody in the household has one now because that's actually gonna help you out on your lease by about 50 bucks. So congrats. So the lease ad that I'm checking out is on the Countryman All 4. And actually, I'll put it up so you guys can see it. So basically they're offering a $32,750 car with $3,000 down, not including all the fees. So say about $5,000 in total. They're offering it for $238 a month, not including your state sales tax. Now the difference between an ad like this and an ad that Mini USA is offering, <laughs> they're, they're structuring these deals with 5,000 miles a year, which is completely ridiculous if you ask me. Most mini corporate ads are offered at 10,000 miles a year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this whole deal, flip it around and give you exactly what, what a normal deal would be like and what I would target on this car. Now guys, if you haven't already, most of my videos that I do are to help people shopping for a car get the best possible deal. So do me a huge favor. There's a red button below that says subscribe. Anybody that does it makes this smile even bigger. I'm actually kind of scared one day my face is gonna rip apart. That's how happy I get when you click subscribe. Let's dive right into this deal and what I would target. So basically, before I hop into leasing, if you're planning on purchasing this car, Mini is offering a 1.9% APR up to 72 months if you're planning on purchasing. There aren't much discounts to be had on Minis if you're not a current loyal Mini customer. Mini Cooper has a markup of about 6.5%, which you want to target if you're, at, if you're either buying this car or leasing this car. So on a $32,750 Mini, 
you're basically after 30,000 660 before any rebates such as the $1,500 loyalty credit or the $500 credit through mini financial services. Essentially a $2,000 discount is what you want to target at 1.9% up to 72 months. If you're planning on leasing this car, here's where it gets juicy. All the fees result to about $2,000 total do it start roughly. That's what it goes for in my state because our dealers charge a ridiculous $450 for a dealer doc fee. The acquisition fee from Mini Financial Services at $925, which they gotta work on. Like, it's a small car. I shouldn't be paying how much BMW charges for when the size of the car is pretty much half. So that's my two cents on the acquisition fee from Mini. Hopefully somebody from Mini is watching this. Cut the crap. MSRP, we're working with a $32,750 car. If we go after that 6.5% off, if you want to target more of a discount, that's completely up to you. However, I'm basically doing what's doable. My selling price is $30,600. A 66% residual and a money factor at .00162. With that 2000 total do it start, my calculations bring me to about $340 a month. Now, if you're currently in a mini, you also get that $1,500 rebate, which brings you down to about $295 a month. If you don't currently have a mini, that $340 is including the $500 rebate that's being offered basically pretty much to everybody. Now, if you really, really want to target an aggressive deal, something that's maybe at like $1,000, below their cost, what they own the car for. Target $299, including your state sales tax, or close to it, and you got yourself a smoking hot deal on a Mini Cooper Countryman all for S. Now guys, as far as availability, like the title says, it's on a 2019. Most of the cars that you're gonna be seeing are 2019s. Mini is known to trade with all dealers. I said this in one of my last videos, I had a client that Thomas, by the way, if you're seeing this, how you doing, buddy? He had his car brought from Colorado all the way to Boston. Many salespeople are cool as hell. They'll do whatever it takes to make their clients happy. And generally speaking, they will trade with other dealers to get you the car that you want. I hope that this video helped. And if it did help, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. There's a ton of cool information that I'm constantly putting out on brand new cars, helping car buyers get their best possible deal. If you're seeing this on Facebook and you know somebody that's looking for a Mini Cooper Countryman, share this video with them, do them a favor, tell them what they should be paying. And if you're seeing this on Instagram, feel free to just double tap the heck out of your screen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.